The Bible said to seek peace and pursue it. And Jesus is the only real peace. We sing a song sometimes that says, the only real peace that I have, dear Lord, is in you. And that's the truth. Because the Bible says, Jesus said, in the world you shall have tribulation. He said, cheer up, I have overcome the world. Cheer up, I have overcome the world. He said, don't cry. Put your hair out, in other words. He said, be of good cheer. Be of good cheer. And he says, fear not. And I'm told that the Bible says that there's 365 fear nots in the Bible. One for each day of the year. Don't let fear enter your life. Because you know what? It allows Satan to enter your life when you'll let fear enter your life. And he will have a stronghold on your life. But have faith. Have faith in Jesus. The Bible says have the faith of God. At the fig tree, Jesus and disciples were walking one day. And there was a fig tree. And it was a time. The fig tree was showing leaves on it. And usually when there's leaves on a fig tree, there's figs. Jesus came to it and he was hungry. It had no figs on it. <clears throat> See, it was a hypocrite fig tree. It was professing something that it didn't have. And you know what Jesus said? Jesus cursed that fig tree and said, No man eat fruit of you hereafter forever. The next day as they was passing through, the very next day, the disciples said, Look, Jesus the fig tree has dried up from the roots. Now, it takes a tree quite a while to die in the natural. You cut it down, and it's still going to be. The roots are not going to die just overnight. But this tree dried up from the roots overnight. And you know what Jesus told them? The King James says, have faith in God. The literal, the literal translation is, have the faith of God. Have faith of God or have the faith of God. What does having the faith of God mean? Then you speak the words that God speaks and watch things happen. See, our words are very powerful. We speak what God speaks and we watch what happens. Have the faith of God. God spoke and he saw this world. He spoke this world into existence. He spoke and he saw. We can speak the words of God and we can see. We can frame our world with our words. We're having today what we said five years ago, what we said 10 years ago. That's what we're living today. It's a proven fact. See, God has certain laws. It's important what we speak. It's important what we say. The Bible says if we believe in our heart the Lord Jesus and God has raised him from the dead. If we confess it with our mouth, speak with our mouth, we shall be saved. Yep. And the Lord Jesus, believe on him. Believe in your heart. Confess with your mouth. Don't let this day pass you by. That you don't say, Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. No other one has ever died for me. Lord Jesus, I believe, oh, Lord, I believe in you, Lord, I believe in you, Lord, 
Cause no one else Ever do the things you do Lord, I believe in you Say it today Don't let this day pass you by That you don't invite the Lord Jesus into your heart Say, Lord, come into my heart, come into my life And be the Lord of my life be the Lord of my life and lead me and guide me and teach me your ways. Teach me your ways, Lord. Then open up the Word, the Word of God, and let Him minister to you through that Word. Read what Jesus said. He's the one. The Bible says, no man comes unto the Father but by Jesus. See, there's a lot of, a lot of people professing a lot of ways to God. There's even books been written that all roads lead to God. No, they don't. It's only through Jesus Christ. He's the only name under heaven whereby we must be saved. It's Jesus Christ. Hope you know him today. Don't let this day go by that you don't 